Okay, now I'm sure you don't want to. Okay, well I'm sure you don't want to. Well, okay, well I'm sure you you don't want to. Okay, well I'm sure you don't want me to. <laughs> Yokoso peeps, it's Oz, and welcome to December fourth. Remember, I'm making a vlog a day from December first to December twenty fifth to celebrate Christmas. And I just like to point out one error I made. I told you Michael Hero, aka Duncan, was doing admin vlogs too. And he is, but he's not doing it on his My Girl Hero channel, he's doing it on a new channel called Violent Elf's Doomsday, I think. And it's up there, so you can check it out. He's much funnier and better looking than me. But I've got chocolate, so let's open day four. Ah, day four has chocolate. And what do you know? It's another ambiguous figure. I don't even want to tell you what I think this looks like. Anyway, down the hatch. Okay, so today's vote was a close one, but the winner was watching me make and eat strange onigiris. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make some onigiris. First of all, I have a rice cooker, and I've already made the rice, so that's the first step, make rice. Okay, so here's what you need. I'm making two kinds of onigiris. The first one is pizza onigiri. So I've got kagome pizza sauce and cheese and pepperoni and on this side for the dessert onigiri I've got peanut butter and strawberry jam and of course that's the seaweed or the nori the stuff that the rice ball gets wrapped in so first thing we need to do is get a scoop of rice in the saran wrap okay just making it flat okay now I'm just gonna do what you would do when you make a pizza I'm gonna add the pizza sauce Next, the cheese. Okay, I'm gonna put two pepperonis. Make this pizza onigiri into a ball. And make sure that the rice completely surrounds the inside ingredients. And you have to use your hands, so make sure you wash your hands first. Don't worry, my hands are clean. Not that it really matters to you guys, because you guys will be eating this, I will. So, who cares? Now you can keep it as a ball and make a rice ball, or you can make it into a triangle, which most onigiris are. And it's just something about me. I prefer triangles, just because I don't really want to say I like putting balls in my mouth. Now all we have to do is get nori. So here's one leaf, one paper, one slice of nori. Man. I really don't know how you count these things. You put the triangle in the middle of the nori and then you just wrap it. And there we have a pizza onigiri. Now let's make the peanut butter and jam one. You can use a new piece of saran wrap if you want, but honestly I don't really care. So I'm just going to put the rice. And peanut butter. That's my peanut butter. Once again, I'm going to use my fingers because I'm eating this and I don't care. Okay, next, add some strawberry jam. Okay, and same as the pizza one, you just roll it up into a ball. I'm going to add nori. Now, a lot of people will think that's gross because nori is more of a salty food. So, if you don't want to use nori, you don't have to, but I do because I like the sweet and salty mix. And here I have the peanut butter and jam onigiri. These two are the pizza ones. This is the peanut butter and strawberry jam. Let's try the pizza one first. Mmm. The pepperoni was cooked. And since the rice was hot, the cheese kind of melted too. So it actually does taste like pizza. Mmm. Very good. Okay. I'm sure you don't want to sit here watching me eat all of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start recording again when I'm ready for dessert. Okay, now for dessert. Itadakimasu. The strawberry jam is very sweet. Peanut butter, strawberry jam, rice, and seaweed. It tastes much better than it sounds. You definitely got to try it. That was good. Not only was that delicious, but that was cheap. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the topic that you want to see next. 
and leave a comment with your own ideas if you have any. And feel free to subscribe so you never miss an advent vlog. Take care and see you tomorrow.